fact, I'm licensed to practice law only in the state of Georgia. And thus, all of the discussion we're going to have about adoption law and procedure is based solely on Georgia law. The laws of your particular state may vary widely from Georgia. So these informative interviews are not to be used as a substitute for sound legal advice by a qualified adoption attorney and are not to be construed as creating an attorney-client privilege or relationship solely based on these interviews. I have a member of my neighborhood mm -hmm. who has custody of their grandchildren. Okay. How do, where do they go from there? How do they begin the adoption process? First, there must have been no child support paid on behalf of the children or the child. Also, whether or not there's been visitation is very important. Parents have a legal obligation to support their children, even if they don't live with them, even if there's no court order. And they have an obligation as well to maintain a meaningful parental bond with their children. You know, be supportive in a parental manner. Mm -hmm. um, the opioid crisis and um, the high numbers of meth uh, addiction, they have resulted in grandparents and relatives all over the, the state assuming the role of caregiver to these children and, and they thought they were done mm -hmm. long after their own children were raised. Well, there's no father on the birth certificate, so how do they worry about the father's rights? Well, I guarantee you there was a father. There was somebody there. Okay. Um, somewhere. There's only been one Immaculate Conception, and that happened over 2,000 years ago. <laughs> so the mother usually has a pretty good idea of who the father is, and, and the relative may know as well. But there's always the possibility that the mom truly does not know the, the man who, who impregnated her. But even if no man is identified as a possible biological father, his rights still must be terminated with the adoption. So. So in the event that the birth mother uh, may still be married, is there some rights to be worried about still? Yes, and as a matter of fact, that happens more than one would think. Um, I've had birth moms that have been married but have been separated for 19 years and nobody bothered to get a divorce. So in the state of Georgia, her husband, her legal husband, is considered the legal father of the child, which makes for some very interesting conversations, as you can imagine, when I reach out to, to the gentleman. Uh, their rights must be surrendered or terminated before the adoption could be finalized. So how long does it take to finalize an adoption like this? Well, as you can imagine, every adoption is different, and it depends on the judicial circuit you live in because some some counties are in a, a multi-county judicial circuit and that judge only comes to that county once every month or so. It also depends on whether or not a biological father or a legal father must have their rights terminated, but they've got to be served. They have to be served with legal service either by the sheriff or by legal notice in the newspaper. Now, um, I really prefer personal service by the sheriff. so. We have to, to accomplish those things before we can actually terminate their rights and finalize. Well, what are the attorney's fees for this type of adoption? Well, again, it varies. And it varies with the complexity of the case. It varies on how much I have to chase down the biological father mm. or the mother. I have had um, a biological mother that I have followed um, years ago in Alabama, she would be incarcerated in one facility and then just as I got the paperwork to that facility, she would have been transferred to another prison facility in Alabama. So that paperwork moved around the state of Alabama with her <clears throat> for well over six months, I guess. So we couldn't do anything until we had service on the mom and then the 30 days passed in which she had time by law to respond to the petition for adoption. So it depends on the complexity of the case and how much time I spent on it.